Jax! Jax! Look what it is! Hello everyone, this is April, the artist behind Invoke Art Sense. Now you're wondering, why do I have my dog Jax here in the video? It's because we have BarkBox. BarkBox is not an art box, but I will be making art inspired from this box. But I also wanted you to see my adorable dog right here. I wanted him to make an appearance in my channel. And his name is Jax. And he loves toys and treats. And he's ready to open this box. Jax, look at this box. You're the star today. What's in the box? What's in the box? Open the box. This is your box. Yes, it's your box. Open the box. It's, it's, it's in the afternoon, so he's a little tired. But he, he just wants to take a nap. What is in the box? Open the box. He's a six-year-old mix. What is that? It's Frenchies in Paris. What is that? Oh, what's that? Can you open that? What's that? What's that? And the background noise, if you hear it, you will hear it. It's the waterfall from my aquariums. What's that? Frenchies in Paris. So this is a bark box, and you can get this box yourself too. I got this box for six months and paid. I'll include the price in the video on the bottom caption, but you can get a monthly subscription, six months or a year, whatever you want. And they do small, medium, and large sizes for dogs. And I just love them. This is the second month. What's that? Hmm? So this is a snail, it looks like. So we have snail, bows, play. And the month is Frenchies in Paris. And this is for a medium dog, this box. He is about 17 or 18 pounds. But just because he's on the end of the small dog size, I got him medium instead. Medium starts at 20 pounds. So what is this? And then this looks like the head comes out. Let's take that off. Jacks. Ah, oh, so it, the head part, so it crinkles if you can hear that sound. And the head doesn't have a squeaker, but it's so cute. Just comes out like this. Looks like Beetlejuice. And if your dog did chew it up, and he's my dog is not a chewer. If he did, there's a, another toy inside that I... Oh, there's a squeaker! I oh, there's a squeaker! You want this? He likes that. Yeah, he likes that. And the second toy in this box is a hat and a mustache and ball combo. Where are you going? You want this toy? So the hat is like a frisbee. And I have a sticker, yes. So in my art today, I will include a snail. He likes that one. And, oh, this doesn't come apart. I thought it was three pieces, but this is actually a two-piece set. And it's a mustache. It's a mustache. Come here. Come here. Come here. So it's a 
the ball mustache combo. You can make your favorite. Hmm? Come here. Come here. Okay, so in the box, we also have treats that come with the box. And since he has food allergies, uh, you click on uh, that your dog has food allergies. So no chicken, no beef, no turkey, that sort of thing. And so this one is salmon cuts. And we also got pork cuts. And usually they, the treat bags are matched with the theme, but this month is not. Let's see if I can get his approval. Let's see if you like this one. Yes, I like this one. Smells, smells not fishy. I'm just gonna give him half. Oh yeah. It's got a stamp of approval. Jack's approval. This one is pork. So they're basically the same thing, just like little meat jerky things. His favorite. You want this? Come here. Come here. Shake. And he likes that. Approval from him. And then they also include like a jerky sweet potato, but I, they include different kinds, not just sweet potato. Uh, but we will wait on this for him later, because I just gave him stuff. And this would be for later, yes? Yes? So if you look here, we have Frenchies in Paris. Frenchies in Paris, and we have, he's, I listed him as a medium box. He has a medium box, so he got this one, and the mustache hat combo. And this is for all sizes, or available in all sizes, as well as this one. If you have a large dog, you would have got this one and this one. For small dogs, this one, this one. I've seen for small dogs, and this one is also available in all sizes, as well as the frog. Available. Oh no, the frog is for medium sizes. I could have got that one, but I didn't. And this one is also for medium. I didn't get that one either. So I got... It's a random surprise box, just like my art subscription box is just for dogs. And um, so if you have your own dog, then you should try this. It's fun for him and fun for me. I think it's more fun for me. I'm going to do an art piece incorporating a mustache, a snail, a mustache, snail, and hat. Hat, so it'll be a Paris theme since this was called Frenchies in Paris. So I'm gonna go with some kind of teal pink palette and a snail, I like this snail. I'm actually glad I didn't get the frog. I really don't, I wasn't in the mood for a frog or a baguette and a hat, the hat and this, this guy is so cute. So that'll be a perfect art piece. I'm gonna do the art piece with these two pieces for inspiration and the color palette. Coming up in a second. Get that. Get the toy. Get the toy. Get the mustache. Get that mustache. I am back and this time I have my watercolor sketchbook here. This is a sketchbook I bought in Korea. I don't know if they have it anywhere else, but it's called Sergio and it's 185 GSM. I'm not sure about the pounds uh, of that, but it's not very thick and it's cellulose, 100% cellulose paper. Um, but I've only used it a little bit, uh, but I have now just used it for my swatches. I have swatched these paints out before in my watercolor unboxing video for Daniel Smith, the Art Snacks, un, uh, Art Snacks Daniel Smith box. And if you want to see the unboxing, I will link the unboxing in the description. This video is focused on Bark Box and I will be doing the final 
challenge piece with Daniel Smith watercolors that I got in the box. And I am really happy with the box's contents. And if you aren't, I'm sorry, but I think that it was a great value, but that's my opinion and we'll leave it at that. And I am going to be using the three brushes I got in the box too, these three here. One is a for fine detailing sable, real sable hair and velvet touch and the Princeton Lauren for washes. And I will be doing the snail. This snail I got in the box that you saw previously. Um, this is not his favorite to play with. Actually, the mustache is his favorite. I will include clips of those uh, uh, toys that he plays with. But that isn't a favorite. I'm not sure. It's just not his favorite. It's okay. Uh, but I'm going to make art with that piece. And Quinacridone Magenta is a color I almost got from Core, and I didn't. And now that is actually my favorite color out of this set. Thalo Blue is also, also a great color, and I even like this Moonlight. Moonlight is almost, I would say it's, it's like a Payne's Gray, but it's got purple hues, different little, different qualities to this than just your regular Payne's Gray. Oh, and um, just, just for comparison purposes, um, well, not really, but I just swatched these next to my De La Rone Aqua Fine colors. You could tell the difference between professional and student grade paints. Look at this blue. There's no chalkiness in any of these colors, and you can see it's not a lot of chalkiness in this these paints, but you can see the the little bit of chalkiness it has versus this one. So it definitely is a big difference when you're using these versus these, but I do love these, but I don't mind the chalky colors, but you see the screen versus the screen. There's just a tiny bit of chalkiness when you go to thinner, thin it out to fade it out. They all have that bit of chalkiness. And when you go to fade these colors out, there's none of that. This is a picture of my own Neurite snail that I will be working on for reference as well as the toy snail. I'm not really sure what direction I'm going with, but definitely not realistic or anything, but just something along the lines of between these two. So I have kept the actual toys upright snail look. This is I yeah, the like where the snail is upside down essentially with the head coming out. I don't think any snails actually really look like that in real life. But we have my snail would be upside down, would be the opposite direction on the glass of the aquarium eating or doing whatever, but I have kept the shape of the snail here from him uh, in with the style of the toy. I did this first snail just to get an idea in my sketchbook first. It's always a good idea to try out your, your idea and color scheme at least once in a small version before you move on to your final one. And I did not use my arches paper. I guess I'm just not ready to commit to using my expensive paper I got in that box. But however, I still use 100% cotton paper. It's the Ready Cut Paper by Strathmore that is eight by 10. I just also prefer that size much better than 9 by 12. 9 by 12 is just a little bit too big for me personally. So 8 by 10 is much better. And I thought it was a waste to cut a 9 by 12 down to 8 by 10 as well. So it's done on an, on an 8 by 10. But this is also a good paper as long as it's 100% cotton. And I will use the Arches paper at another time, but just not on this, um, in this video or on this, or for this piece. 
it will be done for something else. I just want to save it and as much as possible. And these colors are really awesome, especially that magenta. Everything is so bright and colorful. So it was, wasn't really hard to build, build up uh, intensity of color in, in this piece. And I really, really loved uh, this piece and just the cartoony feel or the, not cartoony but stylized look of the snail and the I would call the snail a hybrid between the nearite and a regular snail or something like that and the addition of the hat just made him even cuter and more respectable I used drawing gum from Pebio, Pebio before I even started on the that big snail behind the main snail. I wouldn't even call that a snail in the back. It's a shell. It's a she she shell on the seashore, but it's a shell. And well, the snail has a shell too, so I guess they're just both shells, but one's different than the other. And I was just wanting to keep the highlight, and that's the best way to do it. And I use that as well in his eyes and his front two uh, teeth area. And if you look closely, the near right snail I have when he's eating off of the glass has similar teeth. My near right actually looks like he has buck teeth when he's eating. It's kind of cute, kind of creepy, but kind of cute. I have two near right snails. One is in, uh, usually I keep one in different tanks. I have three tanks. I have two betas, and I also have another tank with, uh, they are, I almost forgot, they are chili rasboras. Very, 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 very small fish. I have 10 in uh, my biggest tank. And anyways, uh, those fish don't get very big at all. And the two betas, of course, are in separate tanks. And one nearite is with one beta. But I could keep the nearites together, but they do such a good job of cleaning, and that's why I have them. But talking about the nearite, so I am getting inspiration with this snail shell where I do the, the lines that you see on my zebra nearite. But I only did it on the outside part of the shell. And you know, the brushes they included in the watercolor collection, I would say two of them are great, but that flat brush really was a big waste to me, but I'm not here to talk about that. But yes, um, since I don't work big, I won't be able to probably use that very often. So I did use a few of my own brushes, my cat tongue and my round brushes, just because I just couldn't do everything with that four flat shader brush and you know this bark box I'm going to be doing this for the next five months and it's just I think a cool idea just to take something that isn't an art box but make art from it so whoever is watching this video if you are just here for the bark box part you can watch that part my cute dog and if you're here for the art part you can just skip to that part. So it's the best for both worlds. Since I am not like a unboxing channel or like a that, I guess I'm not just an animal channel. I don't know what you would call that um, when they unbox, you know, animal related, I guess animal related unboxing or animal channel. So I want to include that in my channel. But since I'm an art based channel, I had to get some kind of art related thing going on. And the moonlight was a great color to, to use in this palette. They included that, that was great because I could mix that with all of the colors to like get great shades going on. And the Aztec gold, wow, it's just so, so beautiful. It's not too overpowering, but it can make things look like it's gold and that's kind of what I wanted to make those rocks those pebbles look like they were gold gold nuggets 
But I didn't want to completely, you know, make them opaque. And I could have, but I just kept things in a reasonable um, level of color. And this piece is available in my Etsy shop as an original art. And I will eventually have art prints of this down the road, but not yet. But right now the original is available. And I also opened up a red bubble shop. And you will see the examples on the screen right now. So my red bubble shop has all you can buy really. It's really awesome. So my art will be on it's on my art is on clothes, dresses, even mask. Oh what else? Blankets, throws, comforters, everything your heart can desire and your pocket can afford because it's not really the cheapest, you know, place to buy a, a throw or comforter. But actually it's kind of reasonable for those because they're already kind of expensive. Um, so it's really kind of cool. Mugs. And they even have stickers, but that's not really that cool. I, I already have stickers on my Etsy shop. And they even have art prints as well. I have my art prints on my Etsy shop. So really the best feature of that is you can get living things, pencil cases, things with the art print that uh, I don't have to deal with it. Uh, you can buy it and a third party that Redbubble company will be the one who will ship it to you. So please look into that if you're interested. It's actually a really cool thing to do uh, for artists and support your local artists or not local per se, but just support artists if you can. And I would appreciate it and I would, would love all the support I could get. I am almost finished with this piece and I had a lot of fun working on this but I had a lot of phone issues too. I had to record the end with my iPhone 6 because my iPhone XR had some issues. I couldn't transfer a video clip to my computer and then I finally figured it out to split the video clip um, you know, uh, to a smaller size to duplicate it. It's just a whole bunch of something else going on with my phone. Uh, it's uh, Usually it's not a problem to record on my phone. I do it all the time. But this time it just took a long time because I, I, one clip was too long. But it got done and all. Oh, and by the way, I used that masking tape and that was an awesome idea. I see that a lot with Casey Golden. It wasn't my original idea. I don't know whose first idea that was, but it's an awesome idea to cut out some of the border and have a border, but not all of it be a border. It makes a piece even more interesting to look at. And I took the, I'm about to take the gum off and that's very satisfying. And this gum, this drawing gum is really easy to take off. I've never had a problem with it tearing up paper. Uh, I think I've even used it on non 100% cotton watercolor paper, but I don't know how it, it works with all you know watercolor papers, but I think it's pretty good. The only thing is use a brush you don't really like. I used a brush, my Princeton brush with it when I put the gum on and had problems with that glue not coming off of my brush. Use an older brush you don't care about my mistake and this piece is really uh, finished and I'm really happy with it I was almost gonna go with like a pattern thing and not like a theme theme thing you know but I will eventually get around to doing some kind of pattern thing with with shells and that sort of thing that would be an awesome design to have like on clothes and stuff but this is you know a great drawing too and I think that it's very 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 different 
and I think that I want to do more of this kind of style as well and well I'm going to be doing more watercolor works anyways and I only had uh, these colors to work with because I was trying to just use only these six colors because I was using the watercolor collection only um, I think if I had other options maybe I would have used more you know colors but I don't really need too many colors and that's actually it's actually better to work with less colors than more so you don't have to worry yourself about too many colors that actually can be a negative thing you know that I could have gone darker with the moonlight color I didn't um, maybe a burnt sienna could have been useful I mean there could have been a few colors that would have been great to use with this but I think that the pastel looking colors made this piece even better it made it it made it match the toy colors and playful thing much better with the Frenchies and Paris scene. What was your favorite toy out of my box I got from the Bark Box or from the diagram where they showed all the toys that they offered for this theme, Frenchies in Paris? And I would also like to know. Did you think the toys were too big for my dog and should I downgrade to a small dog size for next month? Jax, do you want this? So this is the sweet pumpkin. I'm going to go ahead and give it to him because he just, he just looks like he's so good. Are you a good boy? You're a good boy? You can break these up. They're just like this. And BarkBox makes their own treats in the USA. Come here. The toys are made in China, but all the treats are made in USA, which is good. You want this? Oil, oil, oil. And he's off. Thank you for watching my video. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you like these types of videos, stay around for next month for another Bark Box because I will be doing this for at least, I think, five more months from now. I have another five months. So see you next time, Invokers. Goodbye, everyone.